Hello YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave. Today's Friday. Uh, I'm here in the comic room. I uh, decided to make a video today. I'm uh, working through some health things. Uh, I was really disappointed. Uh, I was unable to make a video, uh, support video for uh, my good friend Roger Metarog. And, uh, and I, I truly feel bad about that. I've been trying to make a video for him for two weeks. I really haven't been active in the community in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I really haven't even made uh, a video, um, you know, or, or commented. Even, you know, people have left me uh, comments and I haven't commented back. I've, I've been really working through some things. Uh, it's the same stuff I've had earlier in the year, memory and concentration. And uh, I've got some theories on what it is. We're doing some more testing and figuring it out. But nothing... You know, life or death, so so no worries there. Uh, but I decided I'm gonna gonna step back from YouTube for a while. So this is gonna be my last video for a bit. Uh, and what I decided to do, since I couldn't do a support video for for Roger, I'm gonna make this a support video. It's gonna be my my top 50 slash room tour. Uh, and I I kind of put the room back to a better version of of what it was. Uh, earlier in the year and we'll just walk through it together but uh, anyone who's not subscribed to Metarog uh, it's one of the best channels on YouTube he's a, the, absolutely the most knowledgeable guy I know you will learn if you want to be a comic book collector if you really want to get serious about it you gotta watch his channel so uh, I'll put a link sub up to Metarog uh, I am giving Metarog the Silver Age Dave contest roundup okay I've, I've gotten to a point where I'm not able to do it um, and I, I'm just, I, I'm focusing on other things, you know, family and, and business and, and life and, uh, and things like that. So uh, I'm giving the contest roundup to Roger. So sub him up and then he'll be doing those uh, coming soon. I'm sure he'll have a cool spin on it. Um, and uh, so anyway, this, uh, this little area, this is, a, you know, some AOKs -OK that Roger had sent me uh, a while back. And, and there's some more he sent. He had these Marvel Comics indexes. Uh, but I thought we'll just do a quick little room tour, uh, walk around. Uh, I'll try not to move too fast. We might as well start up here. Uh, one of the earliest books I remember uh, Busha buying me uh, is this Hulk 181 that's been with me. Um, it's survived. Uh, they say it's a 4.0. This was sent in in, I don't know, maybe 03 or 04, something like that. But I think it's much nicer than a 4.0. I've seen 4.0s that are pretty trashed. Um, but anyway, it survived me as a kid, so happy to have that. That's where, you know, a lot of the craziness started. Uh, I'm going to try not to talk about the individual books too much. Uh, I'm feeling surprisingly better today. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm connecting the dots a little bit for the first time in two weeks, but, um, you know, I'm still going to try to, you know, just do some general, um, you know, community-based stuff. Uh, the, the last year I've been involved in the community has absolutely been incredible. Uh, you know, I watched for a while. I was that guy on the outside and, uh, and I don't know what spurred me on. I, I've talked about, uh, you know, different, different older guys in the, in the community that, uh, that inspired me to, you know, make a first video. And I didn't expect there to be more than one, really. Uh, this is a, a, a really cool error comic. Uh, this came through a collection I bought from a local lady. We go to church together, and, and I don't know where they got it, but it basically came off the presses with no color. Uh, I don't know what something like that would go for in the open market. I don't plan to sell it, but uh, it's just cool. So a couple issues I'll, I'll talk about. So, uh, you know, back, I, I think last August I might have done a, you know, a first video. So a little over a year ago. And then, uh, you know, I did that for a little bit. And, it's, and, I, and I used to talk about all the time, you start off with, uh, you know, video number one and no subscribers. And, um, and then slowly but surely things, things catch on. And, you know, for me, it's been a, an absolute whirlwind. Uh, you know, I looked at my subscriber count uh, today. I, you know, I've got my, my little channel page pulled up. And it's, it, it, it's mind-boggling to me. Uh, is it 1466 today? And, it, and I'm scratching my head and I'm thinking, man, I didn't, I didn't realize, you know, there's there's 1466 people that like comics. I mean, obviously there are, but, um, you know, it's just, just one of those shockers. Um, this came through that, the, the same with this era comic up here. 
that came through the same lady, Dorothy. Uh, her husband collected comics, and so I got some really great gems in there. Um, this is a, a direct and a newsstand. Uh, this one came through Signed, which wasn't advertised as Signed. I didn't pay much for that. That was a YouTube pickup. Um, Devil Dinosaur, you know, one of my favorites. Um, so, you know, I think the coolest part for me about the community has been, you know, getting to know so many people and, uh, you know, really on a, on a first name basis, uh, guys that, that, you know, really were, were heroes to me, uh, for a long time. And, and, you know, to, to, to watch videos and, and to see, uh, the, the young people progressing and the older guys, you know, appreciating, you know, where we're at, you kind of fight your whole life to be in a certain place. Uh, this is one of my first videos I, I promised I was going to go through this Marvel Con 76. That was the uh, uh, the little handout they had. And it's a cool book. One of these days I'll, you know, when I get back to making videos, maybe we'll, we'll go through that together. Uh, Vin Crew was showing off this the other day. And I know uh, Symphonic Elk has, has one of these. But that's Elseworlds. It's a recalled. Uh, these only came out in uh, England, I think, was the only place in, in the rest of the world didn't get them and so they, these were uh, kind of a cool story uh, behind getting these. I have a video on on this particular one uh, that came through Silver Acre. Uh, you guys across the pond will know all about that. Uh, this book I, I left out. This is an, an old uh, uh, comics buyer's guide and it gives so much information in here. Uh, the new guides are fine. They give the price but th these things are awesome. I, I love the old price guides. Um, one of the books I wanted to show off, you know, it's the top 50 was the, uh, was the, the thing this was all about. And so this is one of them. A lot of people would be like, wow, 143, Fantastic Four. What's that about? Well, this is going to be in my top 50 now because what we have is we have Fantastic Four with Doom. It's 143. See right there in the, in the far right, you'll see Dr. Doom 143, Fantastic Four. It's a cool issue. So, I think I found a loophole, and uh, and I'm just putting that in my top 50. So there you go. Uh, sometimes the brain does work. We'll see. Can't really backfire because I'm just I'm happy to make a video. I thought if if it's gonna be my last video for a while, might might as well go out with a bang. So uh, you know, thank you to whoever started this thing. That's great. Um, you know, so. In the community, the friendships you build, uh, I watch a lot of the, the live shows or, or have been watching a lot of live shows, and it's really entertaining, um, you know, the, the people that are out there and the, uh, the, the groups that get together. I've got such a uh, deep respect for some of the well-established channels and, uh, and groups that have been really doing this thing for so long, keeping the, the YouTube comic community going. Um, it's it's really not to be taken for granted, um, you know. So so many of us back in the old days, you you put these books away and they sit in in boxes in dark storage and and no one gets to see them or appreciate them. Um, this was uh, part of the uh, the Crack House comic call. This was the book that in in a blurry, terrible picture I saw this. It was, it was kind of like that, and I knew what that book was, and that's why I drove so far and put myself in that crazy situation, but it, it worked out. You know, I didn't get killed, and I got some great comics out of it. Uh, this book came from Hungary this summer. My, my daughter, Gwen, uh, traveled to, uh, just outside Budapest, and, and so she brought me that, and it's in, you know, that other language, so I can't read it, but, um, you know, oh, well. We'll come back to these two. Uh, so we, we hit that wall, and, um, you know, so... Up here, I've got the Jarts and the Super Jock, some of the, the toys of, you know, the, the old days. I've got my Welcome Back Cotter here, which is pretty funny, uh, what it says on there. Isn't that funny? A uh, little tribute to Burt Reynolds, uh, you know, too bad. What a, what a great guy. Um, you know, so I got my uh, Smokey and the Bandit car there and uh, Dukes of Hazard car. And I'd like to have a lot of other cars. I'd like to have Batmobiles and and all kinds of things, but I, I haven't gotten to that level. Uh, we've got, you know, one of two G.I. Joe areas here. Um, down here, I've, I'll, I'll swing back around. I've got the Michael Zeck book 
that I'd promised I was going to do a live unboxing on, and uh, I haven't. But, you know, something's got to bring you back. So when, when I'm feeling better and I, I want to do a video, I've got a few things to work on. Uh, I've got a little bit of art down here uh, across the bottom. These are part of the recent collection I had. I forget what I even call it, Big Mystery Hall or something. And, and these are actually, if anything was going to be a 10.0, uh, you know, this section of, uh, of graphic novels certainly will be, uh, those I'm probably going to send in and get graded just for the sake of protecting them. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting into some of the old nostalgic stuff, the foom and, uh, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the old and, uh, old and, ooh, old man silver, right? Uh, a lot of the old stuff just really, uh, I'm spending more and more time, uh, attracted to that part of the hobby. This is, uh, custom art a local guy does he draws these by hand it's just incredible uh, he just does covers he'll do any cover you want very affordable so I love having that I got my walking dead artist proofs and and I've got a big stack of the old wizard posters uh, and um, and I always saved them so those are in plastic uh, I don't think they're necessarily worth anything but but they're still cool a couple punishers there and I got a big stack of those uh, Lazarus, I talk about all the time. Uh, this section, um, well, I'll go up here. We got John Ritter, another uh, guy who died. He died way too young. Um, great actor and Three's Company, but that was from Hero at Large, uh, where he was a regular guy and made himself a superhero. Uh, Six million dollar man area up here, with uh, I think this is Maskatron. Um, I couldn't remember what his name was earlier, and I think it's Maskatron. Uh, and he could wear the different faces. So he's got uh, uh, the boss, uh, Goldman. I can't remember his first name. And then Steve Austin, of course, Mask uh, is right over there. Um, these Thors, that's all part of the Five Cent Hall uh, that I've talked about so many times. I've got Megos strewn in different places around the room today. Uh, like I said, I, I tried to pull books out. Th these are books that were here. I've got another uh, location and... You know, and then more books somewhere else. And, and I didn't really think it out. I saw Roger's video this morning and I thought, well, heck, if I'm going to leave YouTube, I want to leave with a bang. And uh, again, not leaving forever, just taking a little break. Um, so, you know, the Thor books are part of that five cent haul. Uh, some of the books up here are part of that. I've got the, the Gwen Stacy up here, uh, Edge of Spider-Verse number two. I'm up to five copies of it. But that's a signed and remarked one, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, fun stories behind so many of these books. Uh, this top left corner, I did a video a while back talking about my comic uh, mid-roots back in the 80s. My buddy Jeff and I would ride our bikes, and we bought all that stuff so deep uh, in multiples. It was a great time. Uh, let's see, that's that uh, Marvel Spotlight number 5, uh, Ghost Rider number 1. I've got, uh, that's another Incredible Hulk, uh, 181 there. Uh, we've got This House of Secrets, that's signed by Bernie and Len. Uh, so that's a pretty special one. I've got a few copies of this, but that's a that's a great one. and It's graded a 5.5. I don't know, that's probably correct. Uh, we've got a Punisher signed by Stan Lee right there, 129. Uh, this is the, uh, I, I ended up, I showed on the Go To Geeks video, I showed this box off. Uh, the, the little um, chest of, of the flats, they're called. And so I thought, well, heck, I might as well set up some flats. So I got the flats set up. Um, these uh, X-Men here, those are also part of the nickel hall. So five cents, five cents. Uh, I think that Captain America came out of the five cent hall. Uh, definitely the Justice League up there came out of there. But, but that was a, a great time in my life, getting all those books for a nickel. Um, and more 181s. I've got uh, uh, Secret Wars. That's a Mike Zek signed that and, uh, and remarked. And I've got some signed uh, 340s, but I don't know. I don't know where they are. They might be somewhere else. Um, 193. That's a, just a great cover. Uh, 126 and then 338 uh, homage covers. You know, I bought the 338 in person. That's part of the Simonson run. Um, Son of Origins, I picked up a while ago. It just came with a haul, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, just a free book. But it's a great one because it gives all these great origin stories in it. 
and uh, and I don't mind reading it because it's a little beat up to start with. So um, pretty happy to have that. And um, so we got that. We've got more of the Marvel value stamps right there. Uh, the books. Uh, one of them. This one's perfect with no stamps in it. These are both uh, ones. I think they're both filled out completely. Um, got a Werewolf by Night up there. Uh, Watchmen, this was another one that Jeff and I were riding our bikes and buying those in multiples. Uh, stuff like this, the, the, the little Matchbox catalogs. Uh, one of these is going to a friend up in up in Canada that uh, that requested one. So and then the other ones I'm just going to keep around, you know, me with multiples. And, uh, you know, speaking of stuff like that, I happen to have a bunch of these uh, uh, Sears catalogs. And I thought I'd go through these at one point, but might as well just do a quick little flip. Um, you know, when we were kids, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have, uh, you know, so many of the, the fast things that, that are out there today. So we waited for the Sears catalog or Montgomery Wards or, you know, there were a few of these catalog companies. And this book would come in, and if, if it was a beautiful day outside and this came in the mail, you were inside. You were looking through these things, seeing all the toys, you know, getting ready to write your letter to Santa Claus. Uh, look at that, Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle, eight ninety seven. That thing in the box right now is probably 500 bucks. You know, and the G.I. Joes are in here, all the stuff's in here. Uh, but anyway, you know, it goes along with that memorabilia. You know, it's not just comics. Um, you know, speaking of, I've got all my old uh, D&D stuff in here. And uh, just love that. Lots of hours playing Dungeons and & Dragons. And then a bunch of trades and stuff. I'm going to be selling off all this down here all the trades and don't have room for it i got my superman pinball machine i got a stack of number ones i was going to be updating the wall for 25 cent and then 30 cent and so i was starting to compile um a lot of these issues that were uh, less heard of and uh, just got away from me so uh we'll do that you know another time when i'm feeling better and come back we'll, uh, we'll update that wall uh, up here, sorry for the fast movement, I've got my Evil Knievel area, a little lunchbox and thermos, and uh, I've got a guy that's been trying to buy that poster from me for years now, and uh, and I won't sell it. That was before uh, everyone had TV, it said, no TV, no radio, come here, and you'd go to an amphitheater and pay, you know, a few bucks, and then you'd get to watch the jump over the Snake River Canyon, which was um, pretty unspectacular but there was a lot of build-up uh we've got our my you know more gi joe stuff and hot wheels uh i know joker 68 is a big mash fan and uh bad avenger too so you know I've, i don't have a lot of space in here so um you know that's the the few items that i have out uh a lot of these books i don't i don't think i show too often so i i pulled out and i put some 10 centers up um Here's some cool stuff. Recently, I saw um, Area 51 Mike. He, he showed a straight arrow, arrow, and I thought, I should pull out some straight arrow stuff. Uh, we've got Showcase 75 over here, First Hawk and Dove. I had it covered up. Uh, Dirty Dozen. I picked this up at Toledo Fantastic Con just this spring and uh, or winter. and uh, So that's a cool one. And then this is uh, you know one of the long boxes of that five-cent haul. We bought a ton of books from the, from the same kid five cents a piece and so uh, that's just a couple I pulled out of there uh, Jackie Robinson uh, this this advertisement this was all about gasoline uh, some cool stuff up there um, this some people might remember uh, I, I had my silver age of creeper stopper and then uh, Vincenzo C complained he said what if I want creepers to find me so I, I invented this creeper finder uh, just for Vin C that was a pretty funny thing. Um, there's some other, you know, cool issues, cool art. Uh, you know, I, I want to talk just quickly. I, I got something up here. Uh, this was an A-OK -okay that was sent to me, and I've, I've always meant to do an unboxing. This was just after my contest. And uh, Jim Bowers, great member of the comic community. Uh, he doesn't make videos, but he's always active. He's not too far north of me. And he just reached out to me and said, hey, you know, Silver, I want to send you something. And he sent me this, and and I know it's in there. It's all awesome and so cool, um, and I and I always wanted to do the unboxing on it, and I just never quite got around to it. And now that it's more of a sentimental thing for me that it's up there, 
and it's it's the way it is and the books are in there and i know what's in there so jim thanks for that but uh you know when i see aoks and when i see the community uh friendships that are built it's it's really the best part of it uh that's the part that that really makes it special it's um you know so someone was talking the other day and i am so sorry i can't remember who it was but they said it's it's just incredible uh that you could be someone here in talking to, you know, someone all the way across the world. I think Geeky GMT, and it might have been Deadpool 2323, but, but again, I'm probably slaughtering it. Um, but it is a cool thing that, that we've got these guys all over the world, and there's some girls all over the world uh, that, that are, are active. Matilda Gothic comes to mind. But, um, you know, to develop friendships over, you know, what used to be such a nerdy hobby. You know, you kind of hid it from your friends, um, or some of your friends anyway. Uh, Doc Savage, that was one of the early books that, that Busha bought me, uh, probably one of the earliest, and uh, uh, always, you know, was important to me, and, and so I've got a lot of copies of that. This isn't one of my, that's not my original one, but it's a nice, clean copy of it. Uh, this is a book I picked up the other day, just at Books A Million. Um, I, I saw it, and I haven't heard anyone talk about it haven't seen anyone show it but I, I thought it looked cool so I'm going to pick it up you know it's not just about buying old comics it's not just about buying new comics it's really just whatever you like uh, whatever puts a smile on your face so down here I've got Howdy Doody and Gabby Hayes I've got boxes of that old western stuff and the old Dells and gold keys and and all that and uh, there's some other goodies down here all this old crazy uh aliens you know, the Batman and Superman, and, they, you know, they used to fight these guys. And it was just, just great, just great comic book stuff when you're a kid and you pick that up. Man, the imagination can run. Uh, these couple boxes are part of that uh, crack house haul. That's some of the, some of the exciting ones I just pulled out the top. But I've got more unboxing to do on that someday. Uh, this Rudolph was an A-OK -okay by ETA Nick. Thank you so much, Nick. This is a, I've got a lot of treasuries, but that's one of the boxes of treasuries, and that certainly goes into my favorite pile. Uh, I've got my artwork I picked up recently, the Sergeant Fury 56. Uh, this Foom poster I bought, I picked up a mint condition one, and I didn't want to display it, so I, I ended up hunting for, for one. This still has tape on it, and, and I love it. Um, first Cheryl Blossom down there. Uh, Archie, there's, you know, this is all old Archie books down here, the old, um, old, old ones. And, uh, but those are two modern ones. Those are key issues. So, uh, if you collect Archies, you know what those are all about. And then, uh, I'm going to try to hurry this up. This wall, uh, I just put a bunch of cool issues. I thought this Monster Madness is from, uh, from the seventies. That was a Stan Lee thing he did. And it was actually pretty funny, um, Little issue, Scorier's uh, Bad Avenger turned me on to that. Absolutely beautiful, most incredible art you'll ever see. If you're not buying Scorier's, it, it was you know there's a few versions of it or volumes of it. Uh, Lazarus One, that is going to be a huge show someday. Walking Dead, and you're going to say, man, Silver told me about that, and Silver has hundreds of copies of Number One, and and I didn't go out and buy one. They're they're inexpensive. I think it's a great one. Old Guard, same way. I think something's going to happen with it. Uh, down here, I've got a bunch of old Walking Deads, uh, stuff I could get to easy enough. And uh, what do we got up here? Um, this is a, uh, a double cover. This is, I think, from 1946. And I just picked that up recently. Um, I, I'm, I, I never found a, uh, a double cover in the wild. So that one was on eBay, and I, I bought it. It wasn't very much. Uh, what If, number one, just an incredible series. Um, I think I have all of them. Uh, Superman number 53. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge uh, Vigilante fan, so I have a, a lot of these issues. These two were handy, so I grabbed them. Big Star Wars fan. Uh, this giant size Superstars uh, starring the Fantastic Four. It's actually a giant size Fantastic Four one. Um, and then, you know, we've got... Just some other stuff. This uh, Sergeant Fury I picked up at One Stop Comics. I did the tour video recently. Uh, it's a great issue. Rick's a, a good guy. Took care of me on that. Um, this area, back to Metarog. Um, 
uh, he turned me on to these superhero merchandise catalogs, which I love. Uh, they're basically catalogs, but they're done in comic book form. I love those. Um, Alan at After Comics, he did a video recently with the Mead Supplies. So being a Thor guy, I went out and I bought that one. I uh, wish I had unlimited money. I would have bought more. Uh, these I put out here just for Roger. Uh, he uh, He's a big, big Ghost Rider fan. So I, I had Spotlight number 5 on the other wall. Uh, Go to Geeks did a did a, a Ghost Rider video, but they didn't touch on these number number five to number eleven were the spotlight, and then it converted over to number one. And there's quite a bit of artist change that happened in here, and unfortunately I can't remember them now. But um, but it's a cool story. Maybe someday I'll do a video on that. Uh, we've got Breaking Bad. This piece I just picked up on uh, eBay like a year or so ago. Uh, it's the Say My Name Heisenberg part. Uh, this is my daughter, Haley, uh, a local comic book artist, Scoot McMahon, uh, did this for her and made her Haley Quinn. Uh, I've got Reed Fleming, number one. I've got Greed, number six. Those are uh, certainly cool issues. Uh, up here, I've got Kiss uh, Super Special. I've got uh, Graphic Novel 5. I don't know what Graphic Novel that is. Uh, this is my Joker 68 tribute area with the Cesar Romero Joker. He was the best Joker. Um, and then these are my original uh, New Mutants uh, graphic novels. One of these is signed by Claremont. I can't remember which one, but one of them signed. Got my Beatles. Got my King Kong tribute, oh, Monsters of Filmland, number 125. King Kong was huge when that came out. You know, we didn't have all the special effects like today. Uh, Lady Killer, awesome, awesome, awesome. Joel Jones promised me she's going to come back to it. Not that she remembers promising me that, but uh, it's a great series. If you haven't checked it out, it's worth the read. And then up here, uh, I don't have really much anything new. I've got my treasuries that I love. I was going to change that out, and then I just decided I like looking at them the way they are. Got Ali Superman up there and, and a lot of great stuff. So I'm going to leave those. Uh, we've got the Marvel Collector Kit. This was sold as a kit. You got bags and boards and stuff. Uh, my, my buddy Brad sold me that. Uh, and then just some other goodies. But uh, but anyway, that is the room tour. Um, we'll call it a top 50, but really it's my, uh, you know, taking a break video. Uh, I will be back. Um, you know, again, a big shout out of appreciation to everyone who's uh, subscribed or been part of my life for the last year that I've been doing this. Uh, the last two comics I'm going to finish with uh, is uh, this one I picked up a while ago. I think I paid five bucks for it. Uh, Andy K put his name on there. Just some kid, you know, I bought this on, on eBay for nothing. It's a giant size X-Men number one. And uh, he just loved the book. He read the cover off. So I will always cherish that issue. Uh, and that coincides with my most beat up comic, which is All-Star Comics number 58. That's another one Busha bought me. And, uh, and I made notes on the back of how I loved it and read it. And um, that's from 1976. So... I was a little guy, but look at the red, white, and blue, the bicentennial year. Uh, just an incredible thing. So, guys, that's it. Um, sub up Metarog. He's going to do the contest roundup from now on. Uh, it's going to be awesome. And uh, when I come back, uh, I'll look forward to, you know, being an active member of the community again. For now, uh, if you comment on something that, that that's mine on a video, Chances are I'm just going to put a heart on it. The The comments for me are really hard right now. So uh, if you see a heart, that means I read it and, it, you know, I, I'm acknowledging it. And at some point I might go back and catch up. But uh, uh, anyway, YouTube, thank you so much for being part of my uh, last year. Uh, it's been incredible. I really appreciate all you guys. Silver Age Dave, I am wishing you the best. I am out.